and what they are doing. No matter how powerful our enemies may be, there's no need to worry so long as we're with Catherine, the mighty wielder of Thunderbrand. Yeah, that was definitely something hot. Also, I guess we have Catherine on our side in this battle? Um, Thunderbrand? You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. Huh. Also, real quick, just saying on the chapter that you fight the dragon, there's a really dumb green unit. What, just rushes the dragon or something like that to his death? His or her death? A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. So I guess there's ten, def ten of the divine weapons then. Gotcha, gotcha. With one of them being that one there. Whoa. <laughs> but yeah, it just rushes the dragon. Oh, fire emblem NPCs. It's an honor to wield, <laughs> but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. Well, what a shame. One must wonder why Lord Lenato would incite such a reckless rebellion. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. What does it mean? Oh, the music cut out. And the pause attacks of choice! <laughs> I don't know much about it. Roughly four years ago, the King of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. Oh. I believe that about sums it up, correct? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them. And so he was handed oh. over to the church for execution. Yikes. But yeah, <laughs> green units and fire emblem games. Wonder which of these ladies and gents will make their way into Smash as the next DLC. That'd be pretty neat. But I think this game came out too late for that. Plus, it seems like it's going to be mostly third party characters for the DLC. I don't know if there's going to be any first party ones. Um, the church executes criminals. Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply pass judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. I hope she doesn't steal my kills. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Jeez. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers Ruh -ruh. are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! I guess she's gonna go around one-shotting everybody then. Combat forecast. Yeah, I know. Oh, big stretch. Man, oh man. Meh. Meh, 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 meh. Oh, he's thinking. Is the loading bar gonna move? It's backtracking a bit. Alrighty. So, oh, there she is on the map there. If a green unit survive, you get bonus stuff on this jump. Ooh, good to know. Thanks for the heads up. So it's kind of like that one paralog in Fire Emblem Awakening. Yeah, and here's the dense fog, so who knows where the enemies are. <sighs> Out of sight, it says. Stat boosting stuff. Nice, nice. I'll try to keep them alive then. My oh my. Oh, so I guess that icon means it's like one of the divine weapons that kind of golden sheen to it. Nice, nice. A with a sword. Nice. So, yeah, frontline fighters. Which is mostly you three. Um, and then like secondarily you two. These are like my three main frontline fighters and these two are like training to be frontline fighters. <laughs> Have some magicians here. So you have, yeah, you have heal now, and you have Thor on, which should be powerful. Oh yeah, definitely is. Oh, and three range, kind of like how it stretches all the way across the battlefield in Smash Bros. Um, yeah, and we have some stuff with you two here now. Putting Gale. Oh my goodness, that's nice, isn't it? Nice, nice. Advanced wind magic. Also not sure if this is obvious enough, but you're gonna get a divine weapon just because main character logic. Yeah, and I've also, you know, drawn it before this game came out for my new face cam overlay. I think Hubert's learned Ryer. I think. No? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that's a three range one, right? Yeah, that one's freaking nasty. <laughs> my goodness. I think I saw something about him learning Banshee. Yeah. And that one is the 
Yeah, that one's a crazy damage one. And two for reduced movement for one turn. Nice. Alright, so... Units. Can I change around some skills or something? Not here? Hmm. So it's high damage, but it's slower, so I guess less chance of doubling. Then, um... Can I not change out, like, the equipped skills before? Oh, skills. Oh, never mind. So learn magic heal. Is that a thing that I can actually use in my class here, though? Like... Or do I have to be a magic class? Uh, maybe I can heal. Interesting. But yeah, you know, ironically did not bother using Caspar until like the next chapter. Yeah, I'm just trying to give him as much experience as I can, even though he's kind of, you know, lagging behind and stuff. Um, no support right now. I guess I can't switch out the... Oh, learned magic. Neat. Neat, neat. Just keep on thinking, ugh. Yeah. 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 Oh, details. Born as the child of Gerald, an unknown year, and hired as the professor of the officer academy at Garrick Mach. Current monthly allowance is 3k. So... Hmm. I have to go with this guy who's worse than Edelgard and Byleth. <laughs> but now he's pretty strong at level 10. What, Caspar? Yeah, I'm hoping that as I level him up, he should become better. I hope, I hope. 10 speed and hits four times. Oh, what, with like gauntlets or something? Oh. Huh. Let's go ahead and start this battle. Defeat the enemy commander, Harmonia or Edo guard. Falls in battle. Yeah, I'm gonna make him a brawler as well. It's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. Yep. Oh, hello. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Mm. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through. <laughs> Give him more details about this as well. Oh, I guess we're. That smell. It's fresh that blood. Mm. It seems the battle has already started within the fog. Yeah, I'm having him use axe and gauntlets as well. And yeah, that's... 0.56% is definitely not a lot. Lord, there, Tux. Proceed with All right. caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Hmm. Axe for when he has to fight a lance unit. Though there is no weapon triangle in this game, but I know that as you gain more experience, you can, like, sort of emulate the weapon triangle to have those advantages. Like, do you mean, like, with some of the skills that give you some potential advantages over lances? I don't know that a lot about it, but I've heard about that. So, on battlefields with thick fog, units will only be able to see enemies that are close by. Proceed with caution, and units' movement will be cut short if it's interrupted by enemy. Yeah, there's no... There's no weapon triangle. <laughs> but I actually prefer there not being a weapon triangle. Like, Fire Emblem's meant to be about strategy. And when you have a weapon triangle, that's the game telling you and like choosing for you, this is the unit you have to use instead of you looking at like the numbers and calculating what the best option there is to be. So honestly, I think it's better off without the weapon triangle because the weapon triangle isn't really strategy. It's the game telling you you have to do something instead of you making your own strategy and coming up with it yourself. That's how I see it. So battlefields with thick fog, your units will only be able to see enemies that are close by. Proceed with caution, and your units' movement will be cut short if it's interrupted by an enemy. You can earn a reward if your allies do not suffer heavy losses. Be careful not to let your allies flee. Will do. I will get the victory. So yeah, we can only see that one dude right now. Wait, what does it say here? Um, train that is difficult for cavalry to traverse. Well, I don't have cavalry. Is the Stay thing. Focused. He's gonna target that dude there, though. All this time you've been using the weapon triangle? Yeah, it doesn't exist in this game. It's not a I round. <laughs> As you wish. Alright, let's go ahead and move. Nah, let's not move him too close to the fog there. I am Ferdinand von Just in case. That's my cue. Is what we do. <laughs> But yeah, so I actually, I didn't think I would at first when they revealed that there would be a weapon triangle first. I was like, oh, gross. Why would they do that? But honestly, I kind of prefer it without it. Just because, uh, let's not let those guys die. Just because 
when you think about it. The weapon triangle isn't really you using strategy. That's the game choosing your strategy for you instead of you making it yourself. Oh my goodness, four times for 30. Pfft, just gonna take all my kills. All right, where are these enemies at? So can I heal them? No, I need to actually be a magic class in order to do that then. Gotcha, gotcha. So what happens if I do use a torch? I guess it has a limited amount of uses, but that increases visibility and heavy fog. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay, we're actually not in too bad of a position. Wow, you're stuck there. Hmm. It gives you the advantage for being prepared, but like, it's the game telling you how to prepare rather than you, you know. Yeah, that is a very wide torch, my goodness. But I think you, yeah, I only have two more uses. So I guess I can use like one over here and then one even further in or something like that. Something along those lines. All right, so this dude will come after Edelgard if she's, yeah, like, I, don't, I can keep an ax out just fine. Like it doesn't really matter. Like I think I'll actually pull out a sword just to like decrease the chance of getting doubled. And you can go after Petra. I don't want to see all you guys stealing my kills. I do not want to see that at all. So you can go. You have more use of heal now. That's pretty sweet. Thank you. Give you some experience in healing. Is my plan. Alright, Hubert's gonna get ready to close it and clean up and stuff. Um, you're gonna equip Thunder by default. Actually, maybe you should equip Nosferatu by default. I don't know. I don't know. Torch usually sticks with the character and slowly dissipates from the person who uses it. Ew. Oh yeah, it shows the torch icon there now that you mention it. Okay. So maybe it will come in more handy than it initially seemed there. Oh, Petra's doubling and dodged. Ooh, nice. Sweet, sweet. And a battalion level. I still haven't used my battalions yet. <laughs> still haven't quite done it. You think we're just gonna do nothing while Whoa, you, try you... To kill our lord? Whoa, some of them have voice lines. Still a little salty that you didn't change class until two chapters after this one. What, so they were all like commoners or nobles still? <laughs> my oh my. Oh my goodness, the snipe. Ow. Rude. So unbelievably rude. Fight to me! <laughs> All right, we're doing okay. Things are A-O fine here. Get him, Edelgard. Oh my goodness, that difference in damage. Two compared to 17. My, oh my. Yeah, so just using a team of noble and commoners by this point. No, stop stealing my kills. I can handle it. Just leave them be. No. No. Actually, that's good. <laughs> that archer couldn't counter attack against that dude anyway. Sweet. Sweet, man. You need to grind down less than 200 mobs at the moment you're able to get yourself a level up. But imagine eight years ago with the same mob not only gave like 10k experience. Since you mentioned that there was like the thousand percent experience increase or whatnot. Hmm. You still need to get to level 5 here, so I mean... Oh my goodness, Thunder. And Thor on there. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Like that. Ouchies. But yeah, your team was already stronger than my promoted unit. Jeez. My oh my. Can you kill this dude? Can you even? Maybe Petra could go over here and do this real quick and double him. This is what we can do. Like that. Sweet, sweet. Dorothea was already level 7 at this point. Yeah, it's hard to give Dorothea experience for me because, like, the limited use of magic spells. And what can you do here? I hate you, Casper. <laughs> My oh my. Well, let's just hope 52% lands. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? That sure sucks, huh? 
Why not? Let's try it. Fucking punch! Dang it. Oh, come on! Caspar sucks. Oh, man. You just don't use strictly magic on or also use an iron sword. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that would definitely make it easier then. Alright, let's go ahead and use a cutting gale then. Like that. Take out that dude. I don't, I don't want to let these NPCs keep stealing my kills. That is like so rude of them, you know? Uh, okay, you don't move. Cool. As per Nito. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Oh my goodness, you double with Iron Sword. My oh my. What a world. But yeah. And your Dorothy has a crap ton of magic. Yeah, I can't wait to make my Dorothy like that. No point in rallying. No point in rallying at the moment. Alright, lead the way. Alright, so there's the enemies there. Oh, and you get a forced yeah. tile. <laughs> Not like it matters. Oh! Got a miss there. Just already hit for like 22 with thunder. Jeez. Hey, we got authority. A battalion level up. Sweet. Neato. Oh my goodness, this doubling. What a world. Well, that'll be easy pickings then. Oh, dodge it maybe? There we go. Also, why is my phone vibrating? I'm getting emails from Amazon now asking me to rate my purchase of this game. Yes, go over there where there's like no enemies. <laughs> Alright, so what can I do to you? Ooh, neat. Sure, let's go ahead and weaken you. you near Lord Are you sure about that? What a hilarious exploit. Oh, I'm getting a crit? <laughs> Are you sure you won't let me anywhere near Lord Lenato? The fog is lifting as a result of the dark mage being defeated. It seems the fog was caused by the magic. Oh? There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Well then. Well, here's all the enemies then. Anyway, um, yeah, hilarious exploit on the early chapter. Got your Dorothea Lidhart and Hubert a bit of a XP about a level's worth, huh? Don't miss thing. Also real quick, there's a Dark Knight on the next chapter that highly recommend not attacking whatsoever. What, is he just super strong or something? Oh look, there's enemies over here I never even noticed. Um, let's see here. Maybe if you go this way. Oh, you can kill him if you want. But I kind of want some of my other units here to clean up. Oh yeah, Thoron's the long, the long range there. Gotcha, gotcha. No, just 26 damage and doubles. Yikes. <laughs> Let's hope these both hit. There we go, sweet. Awesome there. Even at three times range. Sounds perfectly balanced. I oh my. Ooh, my goodness. Leave Oh, never mind. Not leaving him with one HP. Try that again. Just don't initiate an attack on him. Probably a good idea then. He won't attack you. Gotcha. He's a peaceful Dark Knight. <laughs> I 
I guess Aelgrad's gonna have to take one of them out. Let's just use an Axios here. This is what we do quick. Like that. Battalion level up. I still haven't used my battalions yet. I still have not even done it. Hilary sits there waiting for someone just strong enough to fight him. Nice. Um. Why is this better and it has more uses? Oh, because that's the long range one. Yeah, so maybe I'll go ahead and use this then to finish him off. Jeez, Huber is freaking insane. <laughs> Lord Lenato, please don't die. I have a feeling that we're probably I'm in the sorry, wrong here, I aren't we? I don't believe Lord Lenato has the strength to carry off. Hmm. I have a feeling that as the story progresses, it's gonna turn out that we're like so in the wrong. That we're totally working with the bad dudes right now. Right? That's probably what's gonna happen. We first thought, we thought, oh cool, he has a dark crust. Yeah, it looks like he probably would. Does he not? I don't, I don't really understand crusts in this game, but I'll learn it eventually. I'll learn as time goes on here. Okay, so they're advancing out this way. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you all stay back, you heathens. Looked at his stats and it seemed normal. Hmm. Let's go ahead and draw you out, is what we'll do, actually. Seems like a plan. Yeah, that's okay. Let's do this. Sweet of but yeah. No attack indicator showed one space with with his stats there. So you thought, hey, I should just shoot some magic at him. What, Hubert? Because Hubert seems pretty freaking crazy with magic. From what it seems here. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. Well then. Yeah, I have a feeling we're totally in the wrong here, aren't we? Oh my goodness. Doubling even with the axe. Oh my goodness, he dodged. I can't believe. <laughs> when you look at the outcome of what'll happen, you were like, nope. He doesn't have a crest. Or something along those lines. Oh. Only 14% chance to hit, though. Sweet. Sweet, man. Now they're gonna advance. I was accelerating it there. My, oh my, the four hits. A whole four of them. Jeez. Stop stealing my kills. Stop it. Me had a Dark Crest promotional item that allows you to become a Dark Mage. I think I get it. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh my goodness, the four times. Or this, yeah. Sure, let's do it. Neat. Ow. Neat. There we go. Now, this guy is gonna have to be taken out. <laughs> Dorothea! My goodness gracious. So there's a droppable item that you could get if you defeat him. Huh. Like the one Dark Mage there. Makes me want to defeat him, but I don't know if I'd be able to. Yeah, let's heal Petra here. Real quick. And then we can maybe let Bernadetta get hit once, if that connects. Hopefully that hits her, because then Bernadetta is going to do more damage since she won't have full HP. So now she's probably going to start hitting like a truck. But yeah, I'll probably not do it, though it does seem intriguing. <laughs> Alright, so we can for sure do that then. Just like that. And then we'll do this. A rusted axe. 
What does that mean? It needs- it has no uses, so I guess it needs to be forged into, like, a real... ...properly usable axe. Thank you. Sure, a useless rally at the moment. Oh, but it builds up affinity. Okay, not completely useless. Um, yeah. Prefer to end slow, only love and speed. Mine probably is as well. Um, yeah, he... Not that good at doubling. Not exactly the best. Alright, let's just accelerate this. No! Don't steal my kills! It is so rude. Alright, let's just chill here for a second. Training Bow Plus has a lot of uses. Let's send it to the convoy, though. And then, it seems like this guy over here isn't bothering anybody, is he? Maybe we'll just leave him be. Maybe that's what we'll do. Give a little bit of a heal here, like that. And go on. Give Dorothy a little bit of experience and such. Is my plan there. And then we go ahead and get ready to close on in. But yeah, rust weapons are used to forge iron weapon. Gotcha, gotcha. Don't let you suggest it because you can just reforge a slight... I assume that's supposed to be, like, slightly damaged. I like, it's better to get a plus weapon than a regular iron weapon. Yeah, and just keep reforging that. Oh my goodness, my character. What, did I not double? Did I only do the one strike? Because it said 15 times 2. Now, that was a good level up. Oh, I couldn't double because my sword broke. <laughs> I was so confused there. I really wish that you could actually get in the other hit before it breaks. You know? They're stealing my kills. So rude. So. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and advance here like this. Reforge a three uses iron sword and got to iron sword plus with cap. Oh, I see. We're gonna say now, so you can actually make weapons into plus weapons. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to use this then. So, let's go ahead and... Let's equip an axe, actually. Let's see what we can do with it. Take smithing stones. Oh, so that's what those things are used for, then. Neat. Let's send everybody up this way real quick. Kind of like this. Petra, you go here. And reforge rusty weapons, you also need smithing stones. Oh, yeah, so it's better to use for making plus weapons then. Oh! Uh, please miss. Dang. But a lower amount, though. Yeah, probably still good to hold on to, though. Oh, did I just get, like, a debuff of some sort? Uh oh. Oh, no! Well then, ow! Yeah, definitely a plus weapon then. That makes sense. Are you gonna take out that dude? Oh my goodness. 126. Oh, so I won't be able to move now then. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh oh. Okay, never mind, it's fine. I thought he had less health than that. At first. Is what my impression was. Not so, fast. Not so fast. Yeah, I can still attack here though. So let's see what I can do here. Um. I don't know. Sure. Do your thing. Get that experience and a level up. Sweet. How'd she learn Nosferatu? I don't know, she just did. It was from one of the uh, tutoring things I did during a free day. So now she has Nosferatu. Because there was like faith magic tutoring. Yeah, so D plus in faith looks like. Twould seem, twould seem. Sure, let's do this. Pew pew, take an arrow to the knee, my pal. 
my dude. Let's... Sure. If either one of these connects, he's dead. So, I mean... Sweet. There we go, level 6 now. Awesome. Sweet indeed. And then now we push on forward, but we'll land on these tiles so that we can get the things. Rusted bow. Let's get all the things. Guess you should get your Byleth into E-Rank Magic just so you don't accidentally one turn an enemy. What you want to try? Oh, we got an Iron Axe Plus. Want to try trying out some magic instead so you do less damage and stuff? Who haven't I moved? Oh. Be mindful. <sighs> well then. Oh, there's enemies over there too. Well then. Well then. Can you move? You can't move. Sweet. But they're still gonna attack that guy though. Is the thing, unfortunately. Hmm. But, but magic use those knights don't have good resistance. Yeah, for sure. Since they don't have all that magical defense. Um. Okay, you can take the thing. This is what we'll do. Rusted sword. Um. Petra can't quite make it there. Let's do this so that he can't get into a forest tile. I don't know if he could otherwise anyway, but, you know, just in case there. Let's go ahead and do this, do a little bit of a heal. Thank you. Violet with an Iron Spear does 8 damage to a knight. Yeah, with their Stay focused. high defense but low resistance. Let's go ahead and learn some magic, easy peasy. Okay, let's wait here and see what happens. Nice double attack. Sweet, sweet. Oh yeah, going right past Edelgard. Yeah, let's hopefully not let this knight die. That would be unfortunate, To the highest degree. To be fair, most of your man's the units can barely do four damage to a knight. Yeah, the defense on them seems pretty insane. But strong magic units you know, just shred through it all. <laughs> My goodness. How crazy. Well then. Let's just speed it up a bit. That one's down. Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness it missed. Oh boy. That was a close one right there. Jeez, this soldier has a death wish. My goodness. Let me tell you. Jeez. Battalion level up. Oh yeah, battalions are a thing. So this guy can't really move, but he has two range. But I have units that have more than two range. If they get there. Is the thing. I double with the sword. Try it out. You have been Dorothea Hubert Linhart can one turn them. I will show you Seems the like. Ah, yeah. Well, yeah, the story's totally gonna progress in a way that it turns out we're in the wrong here. Or, like, I should say the dudes in charge of us are in the wrong. But I should say. Skill level up authorities now at sea. Learned, uh. Our Star's mercenaries withdrew. You can't shake the vision of an ally falling in battle. It feels like this place is under some sort of protection. XP up to Oh, that was just the place I was on. If I had to replenish battalion endurance, but defeat a battalion could not be replenished. You know, unfortunate, yo. Um. <laughs> Everybody has to go forward here. Let's do this. Thanks. Like that. What class is he? A paladin? Um, yeah, he's a paladin. Twould seem, twould seem. Everybody goes forward. Who haven't I moved? Oh, Ferdinand's down here. I forgot about you. Alright, so what are you gonna do to Edelgard? Oh, you're healing on that healing tile. 
Oh! Only 40% chance to hit, though. <laughs> the misses of the battalions are the funniest things ever. There's just, like, this army of cavaliers that runs past Edelgard, and she just stands there doing nothing. Like, yep. Same old shit. My, oh my. Oh my goodness. So that's what the broken weapons are like, huh? Well then. Well then. Now I can always hit you from afar, like this. Which is pretty neato. How about we actually try out using a battalion for the first time? We'll see if the uses replenish after the battle. I know the endurance doesn't, but... So now that Edelgard lost her battalion, can it still just be restored at the thing? We'll find out soon enough. Um, no, not Combat Arts Gambit. Only 40... 5% chance though. Okay, maybe we won't test it out. Or. Oh, wait, we can't use Adel Guards. Never mind. Never mind then. Unfortunito. Well done. So, why does this guy have two range? Why. Does he have a javelin or something? Oh, he has a javelin in the back. So, he can't exactly counter right now, but. Could in a second if he so wished. If he so desired. Maybe we'll finish off with Dorothea. That's what we may do. Ah, oh, we got some equipment restoration. Does that repair the broken one? Didn't think so. Would have been interesting though. The chapter after the chapter after this chapter is the chapter that has the dragon boss. That is a lot of after this. But I do look forward to taking on this king of beasts. Alright, he's healing on the spot there. Oh, he's using his soul troop again. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a world, huh? You. I will be the one to kill you. No mm. other. You have lost all sense of justice. You want to fight me? Hmm. So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. No, I won't let her. I need to freaking... This guy's probably really great experience. So how much do you do, Dorothea? You can do 13 there. So, let's go ahead and start taking some pot shots here. Uh, I'm all sniffly and gross now, apparently. So... My oh my. Let's go ahead and do all this jazz. Ah, sweet. Got some authority. That's pretty neato. Don't remember the exact numbers, but I think it did like 15 to 20 damage. Oh, the dragon boss there. Yeah, it'll be interesting to say the least. Alright, we'll use the axe so that she doesn't double. I'll leave it to Dorothea. That's what I will do. you need some experience the most. 86 or 87? 87 it is then. Let's do it. Yeah, it can multi-target. Oh yeah, I've seen during some of the previews the AoE. Christoph, forgive me. Mm. Oh yeah, lots of experience there. My goodness. Sweet. That's a lot of magic. Mastered skills for commoner, HP plus 5. I never thought I'd see hmm. Lenato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. Your allies did not suffer heavy losses, so you earned a reward from the Church of Seros. Received Secret Book. Permanently increases dexterity by two. Sweet. Goddess Icon. That's luck, right? Hey. Next chapter, there's a lot of mage users. Gotcha, gotcha. Dorothea was MVP this time. Nice. Then our her motivations maxed out. Sweet. I would love to save. Oh, and immediately close that.